Hashes are used everywhere, especially in blockchain. Every Web3 developer should know what hashes are and why they're important. Welcome to Eat the Blocks. I'm Christian, and today we're talking about hashes. In its simplest form, hashing is the process of algorithmically labeling data. This has many uses in the world of computer science. But first, let us understand exactly what a hash is. Let us look at a simple hash. Here we have our hash function h. All hashes are defined by a hash function that takes a data point and produces a hash key. s denotes the data point that will act as the input to our hash function. Here we also see that our data points consist of animal names. Now, we'll hash our data by taking each data point as the input to our hash function and noting the resulting hash key. Now we have a hash key for each data point. When we want to store this data on our computer, instead of storing each full name, we'll only store the hash key instead. Thus, we save memory on our computer. However, I'm sure you can already tell that this hash will not work with too many names. When we include Gorilla to this list, we now have what we call a collision. Two data points that the hash function results in the same hash key. Our hash keys would now contain G twice, and we would have no way of knowing whether it meant Gorilla or Giraffe. This is why hashes must be collision resistant, making a collision impossible. Now, there are four properties all hashes must have to work effectively. The first of these is that all hash keys must be of uniform size. Varying sizes in hash keys would cause numerous edge cases, complicating the hashing process greatly. Secondly, there is collision resistance, which you already know. Thirdly, hashing has to be deterministic. This means that if we use the same hash function on the same data point, we will always result in the same hash. There can be no room for chance or probability in a hash function. Finally, it is nearly impossible to know what the data point is from solely knowing the hash. There are instances where one can technically break a hash, meaning deciphering what the original data point is from the hash key, but in these cases, the resources required to break the hash are beyond the scope of our current technology. Hashing has two main uses in the world of computer science, storing data and maintaining privacy. You've already seen that hashes can reduce the size of data and memory, but hashing is also a great tool for maintaining privacy. Two people can verify that they have the same data without revealing what the data is by simply comparing the hash key. If the hash keys are the same, then their data must be as well because of the four properties all hashes must have. It is this property that allows peers on blockchains to verify data without revealing the data itself. Thus, hashes are a common occurrence in the world of blockchain.